Hello, this is Red Wolf TV and I'm Arclight. And I'm Taz. We've come to the great outdoors. We're going to test the Hades Arrow 70mm mortar. This is the launcher. The tube itself is metal and almost everything else is made of plastic. It's about 720 millimeters in length, which is around 28 inches. And the weight is sitting at around two and a half kgs or 5.5 pounds, which means it's got good weight and size, but it's pretty manageable in the field. This is the adjustable stand and it's made of high density plastic, which means it's not flimsy. It also has a hinge, but doesn't have any markings. So when you are adjusting the angle, you have to simply guesstimate. You could carry it around like a bedroll, but it does have these two metal clips which means you can easily attach it to molly rigging on vests or backpacks. You can also, when you put your ear to it, hear the seaside in the distance before you lose your hearing. This is the base cap which is plastic and ventilated which means for both safety and legality it cannot fire a real shell. But if you do, the best case scenario is you'll blow yourself up. The base cup does screw off as you can see but the pin is actually a triple edge blade which means it cuts into the seal of the mortar shell. You can also use this to make tactical orange juice the same way Arclark does for breakfast. <laughs> right, anyway moving on now we're going to talk about the mortar shell. The mortar shell is only a couple of inches shorter than the tube but it is much lighter as it's completely made of plastic. But there's not much point in me quoting the weights because it will be more than doubled with the payload which is actually water. As you can see, the stabilizing fins are much larger than they are on a real mortar, but they spring out, and they automatically do so when it's fired from the weapon. They are much larger because this is a much lighter projectile, traveling at a much slower speed than a real one, so it needs a little bit more surface to be able to stabilize. The bottom end cap screws off. The cap contains a little rubber seal that was previously mentioned. This is what holds in the pressure. Inside the back here, you pour in the payload. The optimized payload is 300 milliliters of water. You put that in first, and then replace the cap. The front end has a removable cap. It's simply a friction lock, though it is very tight. It's a very high density type rubber material. It's designed to absorb impact because underneath it is the real nose cap, which contains the gas valve. The gas used is CO2. You put it in using this applicator. This applicator is fed by internal 12 gram CO2 capsules. It doesn't come with any, however, so you need to make sure to pick some of these up. This mortar set actually comes with two shells. One of them is disassembled, partially, the other one is fully assembled. So in order to assemble this one, you could follow the instructions or you could just copy the other one. That means you've got a complete shell here, separate cap, the four separate pins, and enough springs to rig this up with two left over means you can put this together. Each one of these mortars has one seal in it, and it comes with five extra seals. Bear in mind that each seal is destroyed every time you fire it. The whole bottle is 700, that's over the max, so there. The end fence at the end of our field marks it about 80 meters. The mortar went over the fence and cleared the small ravine on the other side, 100 meters easy. We were lucky enough to have the villagers find our mortar rockets. Because otherwise, finding a green object out there... Yeah, let's just say it's a good thing that it comes with two. Well, we had a couple of issues to begin with, but we found that you can have anywhere from 300 to 600 milliliters of water. But the key is to have full CO2 pressure, which means almost a whole capsule per shot. Which seems a little pricey per shot, but with the amount of water used and the results you get, well, they speak for themselves. The manual says 50 to 60, we got easily 100 meters. So, the Hades Arrow 70 millimeter mortar and many other products available from our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com.